please give it up to Brian Peterson. Brian! Thank you. Hey, hey, good evening. I'm excited to be here with you guys tonight. Before I get started, I'd love to know who in this room believes there's no such thing as a stupid question. Go ahead, raise your hand. It looks like about half of you, maybe. I can't see in the balcony. I actually believe there are stupid questions. And I also believe there's incredible value in us asking those stupid questions. In fact, I'm gonna make a case tonight for why we should ask more of them. All right, so here's my hypothesis. Asking our stupid questions makes us smarter. Okay, let me say that again. Asking our stupid questions makes us smarter. All right, and I'm gonna demonstrate this by starting with a question. Who knows where the Great Wall of China is? This is not a trick question. Go ahead, where? China. Who said that? Yes, you are right. The Great Wall of China is indeed in China. And as basic or stupid as that question may seem, I want us to consider for a second how that makes us smarter. All right, so think about it for a second. What other questions does that question prompt you to ask? I'm going to try and listen. How long is it? How long is it? What else? Oh, what part of China? Where are the unicorn? I, I don't know anything about the unicorn. Why? What's, it made of? What's it made out of? Okay, so I'll circle back to this in a second. The, the point is this. Sometimes it's these basic or stupid questions that are needed to uncover the many layers of learning and understanding. And they often surface even better questions to ask. All right, so we're going to circle back to the Great Wall of China here in a second. So we've all been there. Okay, we've been in a class or a meeting where a presenter or a professor is speaking about something that's maybe foreign to us, something's over our head. They're using acronyms and terminology we don't understand. And occasionally they make that eye contact with you. You know, they're like, are you with me, head nod? Yeah, yeah. yeah? And instinctively, we give them the, yeah, I'm with you. And that goes on back and forth for a while. And then the presenter or the professor or whoever closes with a slightly insincere, are there any questions? And we shake our head, no. Class dismissed, meeting adjourned. Right, but more often than not, the majority of us in that room do have questions, but we don't ask them. Why not? Fear. Fear. We are scared of what others may think. And because no one else raised their hand, we mistakenly assume that we're the only one that's not in the know. So we bite our tongues and we don't ask our questions. You see, when you have the courage to ask your question, it acts like a spark. Right? When you have the courage to raise your hand and say, yes, I do have a question, it actually gives freedom to everyone else in the room. So here's where I'm going to challenge you, is to be that spark, to raise your hand, take the risk, and ask your question. What do you have to lose? See, it's not until someone asks, where is the Great Wall of China? that we all learn that the Great Wall of China is 5,500 feet or 500 uh, miles long. Literally double the width of the United States. Did you guys know that? Some of you did. By asking our potentially stupid questions, right, it brings focus. More questions, more clarity. More clarity, more understanding. When you ask that stupid question, it not only makes you the smartest person in the room, it makes one, everyone else smarter. So, so step up, be a leader, ask that question. And you know what? We will all be smarter and better off because you did. Thank you.